Kids, and I'm Tati Andrea, and I'm at work, and we were just in the middle of a very animated conversation, and sure enough, well, I came to work a little late this morning, and sure enough, I went through my morning routine of having excruciating phantom pains. So what do I do when I have excruciating phantom pains? Like, I don't even know why this happens, but my employee, staff member is um, videotaping right now. Like, we're right in the middle of discussing a work-related project, and then, ah, oh, just phantom pains, and it happens every day at the same time. I'm late coming into work today, so it's like, kind of like 10 minutes after I get settled into work, so I have no idea what happens. Sometimes I grind it out, or as I've just done now, I take my leg off and I massage it. So this is our, <laughs> this is our daily routine, right? <laughs> right? Like, we yeah. just, like, every day we just go <laughs> every day. Every day. So I'm gonna put my leg back on now. And so that's our, like, every single day. And it's like, I call it my oh my God moments. I'm gonna put my leg back on. So it happens every single day. I'll put my leg back on. I'll try and put my leg back on. <laughs> So you can all see me get my leg back on. The second oh my god moment, which I give her heck for all the time, is after I've done it, and watch me try and get my leg back on, mm -hmm. is I, ever since I, we haven't finished polishing back my leg up. <laughs> look, I haven't got my leg mm -hmm. in yet. Wait for that clip. There's my clip. So look at how cute I look today, everybody. Isn't this cute? So <laughs> nice Zara clothes. So then, you see how my nylons are down? They will actually let me walk around <laughs> with my nylons down. They won't even tell me, so they will embarrass me with my nylons. So I have to remember to pull my nylons back up, but because I've just been having severe phantom pains, sometimes I forget. <laughs> and they will actually let me go out like this. Oh, click, click. So this is the other thing that goes on in the office all the time. Click, click, click. And then the other thing that happens all the time at work is I'm at my desk all day long and I'm, I sit like this cross-legged because I hate getting up to go to the washroom. And the other very frustrating thing is you've held it so long and then you get up and you've got to go. And the sock, the, the white sock part that I've now hidden, has, your leg has now shrunk inside your socket. You have to put another sock on. So when you're in a rush trying to do something, you got, oh, you can't go anywhere because you need to take the leg back off, put a thicker sock on because it, your residual limb has shrunk too much. And then you've got to put that on just to go to the bathroom. So that's our thing. You hear another, don't you, Natasha? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> and then we're all ready to leave for work and we all tend to go out the door at the same time and then we're all ready to go and again i realize i need to change my sock and i'll just sit back and wait for me to change it again or you get up to go and you just don't have your leg on at all oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it really does help if you have your leg on before you leave for work because <laughs> yeah i will admit that i will take it off every now and then when i'm i sit at my desk too long so when your leg is bent like this, and I do find that I'm, I have a desk job, and so they've made my prosthetic on purpose for that. It's carved out like that because my knee's bent so long. So it is hard. You'll find I don't straighten my leg as much as I should. So I'll just pop it off to make it more comfortable if I've been at my desk a long time. So yeah, it is really important to put your leg on before <laughs> you leave for work. So it delays us getting out of the office. And like everybody else, we just want to get home. <laughs> we want to get home at the end of the day. Everybody have a nice day. Thanks. Bye-bye.